Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the creator of The Legend of Zelda, Shigeru Miyamoto. Hello everyone, and welcome. Mm, Zelda, it sure does bring back memories. Ah, okay, I'd like to ask Mr. Bill Toynen from Nintendo of America to translate for me once again this year. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Uh, so, last year was the 25th anniversary of the Super Mario Brothers series. This year is the 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. Now, since we first released this game back in the 8-bit NES days, the gameplay and the visuals have constantly evolved with each new hardware system. And so has the music. Now, the song that you heard at the end of the piece performed by the orchestra today was a theme song for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm used to hearing it at work every day now, but to hear it performed by an orchestra like this in a hall like this is exhilarating. Now, music is an indispensable piece of The Legend of Zelda. The feelings you get when you solve a puzzle or open a treasure chest or are helped by a fairy are in part created by the music that you hear at each of those moments. And of course, Link has often used a musical instrument as an important item in each of his quests. But since we have a full orchestra here today, a very talented one, I think we should ask them to play some of these songs live for us. What do you think? <laughs> okay, let's, let's start simple with the uh, chime for solving a puzzle. <laughs> That feels nice. Next, how about opening a treasure chest? Getting an item. That was a little short. Let's try something a little bit longer. How about the melody from a fairy's fountain? Isn't that nice? <laughs> Maybe we should do uh, getting an item one last time. This one with the full orchestra. Getting an item. Oh. 
あれおおアイテムゲットね There we go <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, For the 25th anniversary, we have prepared a Zelda game for each of our hardware systems. First off, although the Nintendo eShop launched only yesterday for Nintendo 3DS, starting today, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will be available as the first title in the Game Boy Color virtual console lineup. So you'll be able to download it today, and it should be available around the world by day's end. Now this is a game that we created, perhaps with the most unbridled creativity of any game in the series. And I think it's great for people who are playing Zelda for the first time, because from it they can learn the basics of Zelda gameplay. And then starting next weekend, Yes, next weekend. The Legend of Zelda 3D will launch for Nintendo 3DS around the world. So now that it's on Nintendo 3DS, the frame rate has been improved. The graphics have been revamped, and it feels great. It feels there's a new sense of realism when you're riding your horse through the sweeping scenery of Hyrule. Now, for those of you who are playing it for the first time, we've included hint movies to help you along the way if you need it. And for those of you who have played the game in the past, we have included the mirrored Legend of Zelda Master Quest mode. And we've also added a boss challenge mode. Um, next up, we have coming in September. On Nintendo DSi, the four-player cooperative Legend of Zelda Four Swords that we're going to make available to all of you as a free download. <laughs> so because this is a four-player Zelda game, we hope you will gather all of your friends together. And then finally, we will be launching the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This will be out worldwide this holiday season for Wii. It's finally done. Now, the game is going to use Wii Motion Plus to swing your sword, and it's also going to help make using items like the bow and arrow simpler. And so, in honor of this, we're going to create a special gold Wii remote that will also be available as a promotion when we launch the game. So you can look forward to that as well. Now, I'm, I'm playing Skyward Sword at work every day, and it really feels as if I'm the one that's fighting all of those battles. <laughs> Perhaps you've noticed, but I feel like my arms have gotten a little stronger. It's great exercise. Now, from a volume standpoint, the game is packed full of content, and I think that we're going to be able to deliver to you the most satisfying Zelda experience of any game in the series. And then, of course, because these are games, they have many elements that I think you need to play yourself to truly understand. So I hope you'll all play both The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D and Skyward Sword on the show floor this week. Please play it. Now, we also have an orchestra here today. So, in honor of the 25th anniversary, we'd like to announce that we're going to be holding the Legend of Zelda 25th anniversary symphony concerts in each region around the world. So, uh, let's give a big round of applause for our orchestra today, who's done a fantastic job.
はい、そしてあの、このコンサートを世界中で開くことになりました。and this is going to be made available as a gift to those who are among the first to register the game with Club Nintendo. Uh, the other CD that we're working on is going to be based on the Legend of Zelda 25th Anniversary Symphony Concerts and will be used in conjunction with the release of Skyward Sword. So you can look forward to that as well. We're also planning a number of other events and activities to celebrate the 25th anniversary beyond these, so you can look forward to more announcements later this year. So, for the last 25 years, the Legend of Zelda series has been supported by an incredibly large development team. Just internally within Nintendo, over 200 people have worked directly on the series. And I have been truly honored to be able to work with such talented people. And uh, we have several of them here today, so I would like to invite them on stage as well. First is Takashi Tezuka. Uh, and I've worked with Takashi Tezuka on the Super Mario and Zelda series. Uh, next is Yoshiaki Koizumi, who I worked with on Super Mario 64, uh, Ocarina of Time, and more recently on the Super Mario Galaxy series. And I think perhaps you all know Eiji Aonuma, who is the producer of the Legend of Zelda series. But what's most important in all of this are all of the fans who have played The Legend of Zelda over the years. <laughs> so all of you who have been playing and supporting the series, we would like to thank to end this section of our presentation. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nintendo's global president, Satoru Iwata. Good morning. When we launched Nintendo DS and Wii over the last several years, we stated a goal of expanding the gaming population. And today, we have seen changes in who play, where we play, and most importantly, how we play. The boundary that once divided players by age group or personality or even by gender are starting to be erased. But mental boundaries still exist in how game systems are defined. Some hardware is seen as appropriate for only the most active, passionate players. Others, like we, they say, seem to attract a large number of more casual gamers. As an industry, what we haven't achieved yet is a game platform that is equally satisfying for all players. Yet, this is exactly what we intend to create with our new home platform. 
How might that happen? I will suggest two words, deeper and wider. The new platform will provide deeper game experiences than what even the most passionate gamer has realized before. And it will offer wider appeal to gamers, wider even than for we. And as you will begin to understand this week, it will let everyone see games in a different way. We are going to leave the full details for a little later this morning, but I wanted you to understand that for Nintendo, the goal of innovation is to serve every player, even though each brings to video games an individual appetite, a personal passion, and a distinct gaming history. I believe our new platform represents a major step toward reaching our goal. However, our new home console is a product to look forward to next year. This year, there are bold new experiences coming for Nintendo 3DS and several, uh, several of the franchises you know so well are moving into 3D. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Nintendo of America, Reggie fils -Aimé. Look, we hear you. You want what you've always wanted, but you also want something new. You want to play things and things to look like they always have, but you want the buzz of the new. You want comfortable and you want surprise. Contradictions? No problem. They come with the territory. But is it fair to ask and is it even possible to deliver something for everyone? Well. As Mr. Iwata suggested with our new home console, this is exactly what we're also aiming for with Nintendo 3DS. And that's coming in several ways. Let me start with the things that matter most to gamers, those new headline titles for Nintendo 3DS. 
As you just saw, we've got five key ones to show you this week. On the show floor, you'll see these games in full 3D. But here on stage, of course, we can only offer you 2D versions. So, let's get going. First off the line is Mario Kart. It's a game you've enjoyed for years, but now it's a tricked out version you haven't driven before. This entirely new Mario Kart races into the stores this holiday season. In 1993, Nintendo created a video game that many said made them feel like they were flying in 3D. Now, Star Fox is back, and with Nintendo 3DS, this time the 3D is entirely real. When Fox jumps back into the cockpit, you've got a choice to make. You can use buttons for traditional control or turn the hardware itself into the control yoke. That means this new option, turning and tilting the system itself, does exactly the same thing for your fighter. It turns and climbs and dives when you do. And there's something fun coming to group play, too. Yes, the faces and voices of your fellow pilots are still there, but this time, they're real. The Nintendo 3DS cameras record every reaction, whether they're on your tail or you're on theirs. <laughs> Celebrating their kills or going down in flames, it'll all be there for you to watch. Soaring and banking in real 3D arrives in U.S. stores this September. Next, if it's true that software sells hardware, then it's also true that no franchise has sold more systems than Mario. So get ready, he's coming to Nintendo 3DS. It's true that tens of millions ran Mario through 3D environments on Nintendo DS. But this is the first 3D Mario adventure created from scratch for a portable system. And once you've played Super Mario 3D, I think you'll agree it incorporates quite a tale. Oh! 
So when do all players get a chance to play? Before the year is over. Last year at E3, a lot of you came away satisfied knowing at last that Kid Icarus was returning. This E3, Mr. Sakurai and Project Sora are happy to provide more details. Oh, is a messenger boy. And Max, it's over for pleasure. Sorry I'm late. I had other business to attend to. Wait, you two know each other? Look at the size of that squadron! Medusa certainly is ambitious. Aren't you worried at all? These are underworld troops. Are you saying Medusa's been... Resurrected, yes. Though the Goddess of Darkness was defeated long ago, we obviously can't underestimate her powers. Battling with Pit on both land and in the air is going to be great, but it gets better. This week on the show floor, you'll be scoring off against several human opponents, because you're going to discover three-on-three -three multiplayer action. And one more note, this Kid Icarus will also use those augmented reality cards to conduct battles. The uprising comes to retail later this year. And finally, let's talk about that new game announcement. Make no mistake, the first brother of video games is back. And he's got his vacuum. Oh! 
Luigi's Mansion 2 is not a simple revision. It's an entirely new game, making extraordinary use of 3D and featuring not just one, but several new mansions. When we first announced Nintendo 3DS a year ago, we said that a wide range of third-party developers were already hard at work on games. Creators from around the world. Now, it's time to show you more of their upcoming work. In fact, the library of games coming for Nintendo 3DS is unprecedented. In part, that's because a new world of content opened up overnight. Downloading the enhanced internet browser and the Nintendo eShop will move you well beyond anything Nintendo's offered digitally before. You can search for game info, and you'll find multiple videos and screenshots. This week's system update is also the key to unlocking 10 separate 3D game trailers. And game demos will also be available later this year for either downloadable or retail software. Add to this a virtual console service just for Nintendo 3DS. And that means classic portable games starting with Game Boy and Game Boy Color. It also means classic console titles, some dating from even before the NES days, games given new life with a 3D makeover. And to make sure you understand how quick and easy this process is, for a limited time, you'll receive a free 3D version of an old friend, 3D Classics Excitebike. Excitebike is now 27 years old. It doesn't get much more retro than that, but it's still a blast. But maybe the biggest download news for Nintendo 3DS concerns one of the biggest franchises in video game history. Pokemon. For the first time, Pokemon will spring to life, not only in 3D, but also in the real world. Owners of the Pokemon Black and Pokemon White versions are familiar with the Pokedex, an item given to them in the game that registers and indexes over 150 new Pokemon. With Nintendo 3DS, an enhanced Pokedex has arrived on the platform. When you first start Pokedex 3D, there will be 16 Pokemon registered. In order to complete your Pokedex, you'll need to collect the data for the remaining Pokemon via spot pass, receive them from friends, or by scanning special AR markers. You can search and sort, filter the data in a multiple ways, making it the essential tool for fans. Each Pokemon also has a special Pokemon 
AR marker. And with it, the Pokemon image can be superimposed in real-world backdrops, whether that's your living room or the Grand Canyon. You can assemble a scene with several Pokemon together, save it to your SD card, and load it onto your PC to share with your friends. Pokedex 3D is available exclusively through the Nintendo eShop on the Nintendo 3DS. It's not in stores. And it couldn't be easier to get your hands on it. Just perform the, the simple system update, and you'll only need a couple of clicks to find your complimentary Pokedex. It's our gift to you. In all, Nintendo 3DS means social, it means connection, it redefines interaction, and it delivers it all in full 3D display. Of course, there is one more order of business left for us today. To make a proper introduction to a new gaming companion. You might remember how the Wii name began to make perfect sense once you started hearing it as Wii. It was clear how much fun we all had playing together, even with people who weren't gamers before. But in thinking about a new Nintendo system, we knew the prevailing thought would be this. Yes, the game will probably still be right for all of us, but could it also be a perfect fit just for you? And the answer to that question is an emphatic, absolutely. In fact, we're so convinced of it that we put that pronoun right in the name. So today, welcome to the world of We You. It's a system we will all enjoy together, but also one that's tailor-made for you. The other word associations are easy. Is it unique, unifying, maybe even utopian? The answer is also yes to all of this, and here's the reason why. This is the new controller for We You. It's different from anything you've played before. It's infinitely complex and yet perfectly simple, all at the same time. It can change the way you game personally, and it can change the way you interact with your family and friends. To begin explaining, let's take a little quick peek at Wii U in action. Hey, it's uh, time to watch some baseball. Okay. And a runner on second. Hernandez is on the mound, and here comes the 3-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. 98 mile per hour fastball.
I believe this video may have answered some questions, but it probably raised several others too. So please let me provide a little more explanation. Up until now, home console games have to occupy the TV screen in order to be played. But the new controller for Wii U with 6.2 inch screen built in means you won't need to give up your gameplay when someone else comes into the room and wants to watch a TV program. Of course, it's backward compatible. So, all Wii games, Wii remote controllers, and other accessories such as the Wii balance board can be used. For example, to weigh yourself with Wii Fit, there is no need to use the big screen TV. But this device is designed to appeal to all people, particularly the most experienced and dedicated players. We believe you will love the variety of play controls enabled by the new controller. It includes two analog circle pads, a plus control pad, as well as both ZL and ZR buttons, and the addition of L and R buttons. Also, it enables the Rambo feature, but that's not all. The Wii U controller also includes a touchscreen, a microphone, speakers, and accelerometers, a gyroscope, and an inward-facing camera. Just as with Nintendo 3DS, Wii U was created so that the widest variety of games can be supported. That means those aimed at experienced players who can handle a number of buttons and a circle pass using both their hands, and those games which can be played really intuitively without the need for any button or stylus input. However, please understand that it was not designed to be a portable video game machine, even though it shares some characteristics. The images displayed on the new controller are generated only by Wii U. There is wirelessly transmitted without latency issues. You can play in a number of ways. Connect with an HD TV in the traditional way and you can enjoy the most up-to-date, high-quality HD images, even without using the screen in your hands. Or you can place the new controller by itself on a table and play without the need for a TV at all. Or games can be structured to use two screens at the same time. The example you saw on the video area such as playing baseball, golf, using the new Zappa, are only a few of the possibilities. We decided on this new structure for Wii U because we want to create a strong bond between games, your TV, and the internet. And also similar one between you, your friends, and your family all interacting in the same room. This can include web browsing, using the big screen for sharing the photos or videos you found online, or enjoying video chat on the Wii U controller, even while watching a TV program. It's a new structure for home entertainment. But to be sure, the most important factor for gamers is how this new structure can be incorporated into gameplay. So let's hear first from the developer who has given, who has given the most thought so far to new possibilities. 
We can make games that you play only in the palm of your hands, even when something else is on TV. And we can also make entertainment that uses both the TV and the smaller screen. It's up to the designers to decide how to use this based on what is best for the games they're making. The hardware itself has the capability, so the games can be designed both ways. More than anything, I'm really looking forward to new styles of play in ways we haven't thought of yet. I think this has a lot of possibilities. And there are so many, we're just trying to decide where to begin. I think there won't be a shortage of ideas. I think as the third-party developers are also thinking up all of their own new ideas, then our vision for the future of the Wii U console will include numerous, numerous ways to play. Please look for the full Iwata Asks interview in text format at e3.nintendo.com. As Mr. Miyamoto indicated, we are facing an unusual situation. And as a developer myself, I also feel this. New ideas are popping up one after another. And we are not alone. A few months ago, I explained the concept of Wii U to Mr. Sakurai, who was developing Kid Icarus. We were discussing which platform his next game should be developed for Nintendo 3DS or Wii U. What Mr. Sakurai suggested then was a specific idea to make Smash Brothers for both Nintendo 3DS and Wii U to make it work together on both platforms. Well, since his team is still involved in the final work in the, to, for the Kid Icarus, maybe I shouldn't go into any details today. But I think I have just promised you that Smash Brothers will be developed for Nintendo 3DS and for Wii U, and that the software will work together in some fashion. Of course, this is a product for the future. But here in LA, there is Wii U software to play this week. Let me call Reggie back on to the stage and ask him to explain. Thank you, Mr. Iwata. Stating that Wii U will change the way you play games is a pretty bold assertion. So this week, we're providing tangible proof. In the convention center, you're going to find eight different interactive experiences. Now, please note, those from Nintendo are not prototypes of actual games, they're just interactive demonstrations. Let me show you just an early example of what this system can do.
Let me highlight a couple of more experiences. And to do that, I'm going to focus on how the new controller can change things. The first is simple. Something that looks a lot like new Super Mario Brothers Wii, but in this conceptual state, it's being called New Super Mario Brothers Me. That's right, your me plays right alongside Mario, and you could watch the action on either of the screens. Second, the new controller can now take the game world off the TV and spread it all around you, letting you peer into it from any angle. This one is called Shield Pose. And if you don't move the new controller back and forth, up and down, pirate arrows are going to come from you to, from all directions and find their mark. Third, a new form of multiplayer. Chase Me is set in a familiar looking Nintendo world. But that world looks very different depending whether you're holding a Wii remote or the new controller. If you've got the new controller, you've got a bird's eye view of the four folks trying to catch you. And that definitely improves your odds. On the show floor, make sure to try both perspectives. Finally, we apply that same idea to create a different kind of shooter. Two galactic fighters on the ground are shooting up at a spaceship. And up there, the pilot is looking down, blasting away from his viewpoint. I'll warn you in advance, it's not easy, but man, it's a lot of fun. Now, to repeat, what I've just described are prototypes, not actual games. But I can announce one title that is in development for Wii U. Nintendo will publish the LEGO City Stories in partnership with TT Games, a Warner Brothers entertainment company. This will be a new installment in the LEGO series that sold over 60 million copies in North America and Europe. More than half of those have sold on Nintendo platforms. So it only seems fitting that LEGO City Stories, a new open world game packed with action, humor, and a whole city full of LEGO vehicles is coming exclusively to both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. In fact, developers from around the world see the vast promise of Wii U. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's a sample of what they're saying. Once we saw the new console up together with the new controller, my mind immediately started racing to what we can do with this in the, in the world of sports. And there was total shock and amazement, you know, from the team. I call it the Swiss Army knife of controllers. It does absolutely everything you could want. This new controller really revolutionizes the traditional path. Connectivity, advanced graphics, an engaging interface. The ability to have asymmetrical gameplay. So one player can be doing one thing, while another player can be doing something else on the TV. A full console experience that's getting streamed. You know, I have a little head. My wife will be asleep, and I, you know, put in headphones and play a full, like, hardcore console gaming experience in bed on this, you know, on this smaller screen. That's a really revolutionary thing for me as a gamer. But it also means we can make uh, games of a sort that we were never able to make before. It's a phenomenal piece of technology. Um, it's a platform I think that's going to really revolutionize what's happening in console. Planning on putting Darksiders 2 on the new console at launch. Tekken 16 years of the history, in fact, Nintendo's Sweeo Kiki is the first Tekken to be made. Batman Arkham City is going to be on the new console. In Assassin's Creed, you can just imagine what the multiplayer will look like with multiple screens, and our Ghost Recon Online will leverage the fantastic connectivity of the new controller. 
You know, they really know how to keep us developers on our toes. It seems like Nintendo sort of heard the voices of the hardcore gamer. We couldn't be more excited to be able to bring the power of EA Sports to Nintendo's new console. It's not just uh, more of the same. It really is opening up a whole new world of, of gameplay. This is exactly what it takes to shape the future. Everything you see this week is just the first pass. We've got a lot to look forward to when they arrive in final form. I'm very happy that so many developers already are responding to the potential for creating a new structure for home video game system, the one we were proposing with Wii U. It can satisfy all tastes with deeper gameplay action and wider appeal. To lend one final perspective, we have invited Electronic Arts, the most successful independent publisher in industry history, to join us on stage. Please join me in welcoming the CEO of EA, Mr. John Ricatello. Uh, thank you, Awadasan, and thank you, Reggie. Over the years, I've made E3 appearances with several console partners, but never before with Nintendo. What brings us together today is a breakthrough in our relationship break based on a stunning breakthrough in game technology. What Nintendo's new console delivers speaks directly to the players of EA Sports and EA Games. 
Nintendo's new console will produce brilliant high-definition graphics and new gameplay opportunities. We look forward to seeing great EA content on this new platform. Imagine playing football with an innovative new controller that takes all that data, all of that play calling off the big screen, leaving you with a sharper, more personal, more immersive HD experience. Imagine a shooter like Battlefield with jaw-dropping gra jaw graphics and smooth character animations of the Frostbite engine brought to you on a Nintendo system, that breakthrough controller. Now imagine those games with an open online functionality that allows you to download new content, find matches, compete on leaderboards, and participate in a global community. And finally, imagine these EA games on a console with content, gameplay, and community that can be extended to mobile, social networks, as well as the web. Over the past months, we've been telling our employees and consumers that EA is undergoing a transformation. We're changing games from a thing that you buy to a place that you go. Nintendo's next console is truly transformational as well. A better platform than we've ever been offered by Nintendo. Deeper online capability, and all of it driven by an unprecedented partnership between Nintendo and Electronic Arts. Thank you. We can't wait to see EA games on this new system. Thank you, John. I want to conclude this morning by asking you to consider four platforms. Nintendo DS, Wii, Nintendo 3DS, and Wii U. Think about what they represent together. Each of these platforms is unique, but they share a common pedigree. It's called innovation. The two screens and touch screen of Nintendo DS changed gaming. The motion control of Wii changed gaming. Last year, in this theater, you found out that glasses-free 3D could change gaming. And now, there is Wii U. This week, you'll have the chance to hold Wii U's new controller in your hands and find out what happens when a second window opens to your game world. Our presentation this morning is just the beginning. And the experience continues right now, whether you're here in the Nokia Theater or watching online. If you're here on site, hands-on begins with those key new Nintendo 3DS games as soon as you walk out the doors behind you and outside to the same tables where you checked in. It's a special chance to get a jump start on the show. When you're over at the convention center, there's also hands-on with eight Wii U experiences, as well as a celebration of Zelda, the 25th anniversary celebration of Zelda. And for all of you who've been watching online, first of all, thanks for joining us. And secondly, consider this. This year, the Nintendo Network is back at E3 and it's even better. Our crews will be waiting in the line so you won't have to. And here's what they'll bring you. Daily updates, exclusive content for game fans around the world, interviews with key developers, and an in-depth look at our revolutionary new controller for Wii U. On top of that, look for the newest game trailers and game guides for titles we announced today. It truly is material you won't see anywhere else. So please check back regularly at e3.nintendo.com. In short, at home or on site here in LA, you've got incredible new game worlds to explore this week. On behalf of all of us, 
Thanks for your attention today, and let the exploration begin. Enjoy the show. Down to the market lovers. 